folks, welcome to another one of our board reviews. Second board in our line. This is another one of our white boards, and this is called the Hay Burner. And it is pretty much a custom minimal, um, a real versatile board with a bit of performance blended into it as well. Heaps of volume, lots of volume through the central part of the board, very much minimal style, nice curved edges um, to the rail, so you're getting maximum float and volume through the centre of the board, and it is kind of smoothing out towards a thinner rail edge so it keeps it more lively through the rail but keeps your volume in board above your upper body it's going to maximize your wave count um, and just give you easy wave entry essentially there's a bit of nose flip in the end like a decent bit of nose rocker so this board can still be ridden in, in good quality surf by someone who knows what they're doing um, so it might suit someone who wants a board a bit more maneuverable than a long board for instance or somebody who's spent years surfing who's been out of it getting older and maybe you just want to catch more waves so this kind of board will up your wave count massively down towards the tail we've got a decent amount of tail rocker like medium tail rocker and we've got a nice round pinned tail so that really is going to come into its own when the back foot's further back on the board um, so you can actually still be charging some of the point breaks um, locally on a board like this it'll still work really well you get loads of hold and um, through that tail shape smaller surf it's got enough volume to kind of keep the speed up um, and still be fairly manoeuvrable as long as you're riding off the tail um, and underneath you've got a very flat um, entry rocker just to keep the board nice and fast it's going to pick up fairly quick and then we're running into a, a, like a double concave that starts roughly here and then kind of accentuated through the graphic there and that's just going to loosen the board up a touch um, again in smaller surf from rail to rail but also generating lots of drive and thrust as the waters force through that section of the board Really smooth forgiving rails, um, they don't really sharpen up until we get to the back fins which is ideal really. It's going to be nice and um, forgiving and smooth through transitions and turning for the beginner intermediate. And for the guy that really does want to surf it a, a bit more aggressively or a bigger, better quality surf, that rail edge sharpens up nicely just along the fins. So when the back foot is placed towards the back of the board and you're driving through turns, you're going to get loads of bite and hold through a combination of the fins and that sharp edge through the tail and obviously the narrower tail section itself. It's come standard as a thruster, um, FCS2, so nice and simple fin system, um, far superior to the standard FCS. You can still use normal fins with it if you've got your favourite set. But overall, a good solid minimal shape, got the performance section to it and got a nice blend of kind of uh, beginner intermediate volume, uh, user friendliness in the front half as well. Enough nose flip, like we said, to still work in good quality surf. So, good user friendly board that will work well for the more advanced surfer who wants to ride the up and the wave count or possibly paddling out in the winter on the point breaks and just essentially catching more waves, getting into them earlier, etc. etc. But a cracking board available online now. Have a look and see what takes your fancy. Mm -hmm.